Hi there! You're here at Project 40's Collective's monthly takeover. My name is Grace Fan, and I'll be your artist of the month for this month. And <laughs> this is Theater Talks! student at the University of Toronto Scarborough campus and I'm saying university a lot. Cut, cut, cut. Basically I am an arts management specialist and I major in theater and performance studies. I am going to be discussing Asian Canadian theater um, in this month's takeover. So what is actually going to happen is I'm going to say Asian Canadian theater a lot. So the acronym for that is ACT or ACT. And then if I am going to be talking about people of color, it's POC, but not POC, because everybody knows they want to be too POC, but they can't be. The history of Asian Canadian theatre is one that's hard to follow, primarily because the community itself is relatively new. And Xiaoping Li, no, not the gymnast, the PhD York University lady, yeah, her. So she writes that the act history was normally is birthed from the activist movement from the 60s, 70s, and 80s. And today we have something to show for that because we have a diverse community of activists, artists, writers, directors, and companies that are focused on Asian Canadian theater. Being part of this community is part of my identity. Uh, not only am I a second generation Vietnamese Canadian, I am an artist, I am a Christian, I am. Um, what else can I say? <laughs> Despite our short and seemingly unremarkable history, ACT actually has a very progressive mentality towards it, especially when it comes to challenging very difficult topics and genres right from the get go, even before when before the Asian Canadian community is willing to talk about these things. For example, in the 1980s play Kai Dai, I'm not really sure if I'm not saying that right, but it's K-A-I hyphen D-A-I. It's about a setting in 1920s of Chinatown, and it's about gay men figuring out their sexuality. And that in itself is a very progressive play back in its time, before anyone else was willing to talk about the idea of homosexuality in the Asian culture. ACT has embodied a progressive mentality as newer waves of people deal with subject matter differing from that of the first immigrants. So uh, what in the world are you really trying to say, Grace? I'm saying that there's so much more to this community. It's built on a complex and multifaceted identity. But how do we, as a theater community, Celebrate that! How do we thrive and support one another? And what's getting in our way of doing that? What are our strengths and weaknesses? And how does our awareness of them move us forward? For me, this journey has quickly become a, an adventure where I'm trying to find the answers and explore new questions. It also becomes a journey of being the observer to being the observed and it's quite uncomfortable and unnerving but I know that this is going to be a really interesting one for you guys so follow along and this week we are talking about identity and so there's a blurb down in with that comes with this video and you can find it on the Project 40 Collective's website and there's always going to be a work cited list for you guys and that will help you sound smart too and I hope that this will be something that we will all enjoy. So shout outs to the EDA committee or the Equity and, and Diversity in the Arts Committee at the University of Toronto Scarborough for graciously helping me fund this project as I'm 
super busy and I need to travel a lot and stuff like that. And for the Project 40 Collective for giving me this opportunity to share my journey with you guys. And for Felix Arafin for the original music and all of my friends who encouraged me to be weird and they have been helping me with the content creation with giving me feedback. And finally, I want to say thank you so much to my family who have given me everything and asked for nothing in return. I love you guys and we'll see you next week. Next week on um, the topic of diversity. Is it a hot topic or is it a practice? So I'll see y'all next week. See ya. Alright, that's a wrap.